art is supposed to serve a purpose and it's not just purely for form. And so it encourages those conversations that people should be having about what it is that we hold dear as a university community, what it means to be a thoughtful global citizen, these sorts of things that may be sort of subconscious, but if there's a cue around you, you feel more comfortable and more incentivized to engage in that dialogue. Since a committee was formed seven or eight years ago to oversee the process of public art at Princeton, we've really taken as one of our most important uh, objectives the diversification of the campus visual art environment. Well, as of course our campus community gets more diverse, I think it's important to express some new ideals. Through the years, Princeton has tried to figure out how exactly it wants to express itself in that post-Gothic age, and that's going to be reflected in every aspect, whether that's our curriculum or the actual design of our spaces and their embellishment with pieces of art. Public art at a university in particular can really transcend time because the values of universities and institutions like this tend to be the same. So I think that as long as that vision um, is constant, those values tend to attract people with similar goals who are not necessarily similar in makeup but who have similar purposes for being here. The building that we're in was part of a two building complex that we've created and these two buildings were created out of the historical fabric of the 20 Washington complex which used to be the home for, for chemistry. Our goal in, in selecting the artist and defining the artwork is, begins with conversations with the users of these buildings. Uh, not about style or particular artists but really about the value systems, what they aspire to, what kind of art might resonate with their sense of identity or their, their mission. What we found in common by both the two buildings was this international or global perspective. Shazia represents a diverse perspective in terms of the campus collection, but also one that fits the mission of the economics and international uh, initiatives departments. We have a process that we follow to, to ultimately commission new work, and that involves asking a small group of artists to tell us what they might do if they were given the opportunity. Shazia made, I think, a very sophisticated response and really thought that she would be an interesting addition to the public art collection at Princeton. Having an artist like Shazia is exactly the sort of step that the university has and needs to take for a while. I think being a woman, being Pakistani, and then being in the international building in particular, I think really speaks volumes for what the university is trying to do. And I think there can tend to be a gap between the university's spoken values and then the actual lived experiences of people, but I think commissioning work from an artist like her actually shows that we're trying to bridge that gap, especially given the magnitude of this space and just how her artwork literally spans three levels. It just contributes in a way that the artwork that's traditionally been associated with Princeton just couldn't possibly do. So it's really breaking barriers on a variety of levels. 